So what do you do if your customer sends you a jigsaw puzzle to put together? <laughs> and this is even worse than you might expect. <sighs> Just sat down to sharpen and my dog, you've seen him in here before, Saw a squirrel, got out, went down the street in the traffic with a leash flapping behind him. And I just got back from getting them, taking them home and saying, hey, you're staying home. No more in the office today. Uh, it's up to me, probably never be in the office, but my husband likes him here. He's a little spoiled. And my customers like him. But I got these in to sharpen and I thought, oh, well, you know, you kind of assume the parts are here. Maybe something's missing. And, uh, and then I started looking at it and scratching my head. Let's see what I saw. I see some of the craziest things come in here. And this is from a customer who is a small beauty supply. And he buys our Benica shears and sells them. And then he doesn't, he doesn't want to sharpen. He makes more money selling shears than he does sharpening. But he sends this to me. So I kind of assumed everything uh, fit in here. And the first thing I noticed was, you see, that's a ball bearing. Some of our Benica shears have ball bearings, but this is our Benica rose. As far as I know, it doesn't have a ball bearing. Let me zoom in here so you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is a ball bearing. And I thought, well, maybe they just got the... Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe the ball bearing fits in here. But no matter how much I tried to bang or push, it wouldn't go in the hole. So, I mean, it's I'm not just imagining. So I thought, well, maybe they found this somewhere else and this is just missing washers. So I went through my washer supply, got some washers and put on it. And um, when I put the washer in here, and you'll see even without the washer, you see that piece... It's loose. It just doesn't fit. And, of course, the little internal clicker plate's gone. But you see, it doesn't fit down over. It should fit down over that little square area right there. But that doesn't fit in there. So, I'm thinking, well, that's the wrong piece. So, to kind of double check it and make sure I'm not just going nuts here, I try screwing it in just on this piece, and it does. It's too small. It won't screw into the nut. Well, now, I'm, so the only part that they sent back with the shears that belongs to the shears is the pretty little pink screw, which actually goes on that side, I'm not the back. So these are wrong. Huh. Now, if this belonged to uh, came to a sharpener. They would just be baffled by it. Um, all right, we sell these little parts that I happen to know fit our... Um, you can buy these little um, different colored little um, screw sets. And we have a multitude of colors. And I'm just going to steal... I don't have to change the screw. I can leave this one. But I'm just going to steal these parts off here. Yeah, it's it, you have to be a detective in this business. Now you see that does have the washer like I expected. And this is going to go in here. Now, you see how that fits so much nicer in there? And this goes through that hole. This is the right size and you see that fits in there. And you got to always make sure your little nipple is up. Put this in here. Sometimes tweezers or just a little probe or will help you get these pieces in place. Usually if that doesn't fit in right, by the time you put the screw on here, it sort of settles in place. There we go. There we go. And then you check your adjustment and so... I had to replace one, two, three pieces. 
and they sent me two extra. So I might need that for a share one day. This won't fit to that. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I didn't see this. Would you look at that nick on there? Wow. All right. Well, this is video number two. What do you do with a nick like this? <laughs>